This One Degree Outside video is brought to you by the Topsfield Fair. At the Topsfield Fair, fun is around every corner. Experience the thrills, flavors, and entertainment you won't forget. From award-winning bites to exciting live shows, prize-winning fun awaits you at the Topsfield Fair, October 3rd to the 13th. Meteorologist Danielle Noyce here for the One Degree Outside Weather Network with your weekend insights. Ooh, it's a chilly start this morning. We had widespread 20s on the map and 30s all the way back down to the south coast. Boston did not dip below that 40 degree mark, but this is the coldest air of the season we've had since mid-April. It won't be quite as chilly tonight, and it's actually a really nice start to the weekend for our Saturday. The nor'easter moves in on Sunday. Rain, wind, wave details. For late Sunday and into the start of next week, we'll have it all. And, of course, an exclusive live stream ahead of the storm for our members. So if you're already a member, keep an eye out for that. If you'd like to join and help support our mission for membership levels to choose from, membership.onedegreeoutside.com for all the details on each membership level and how to sign up. Now, our Saturday, actually really nice. Temperatures do rebound into the mid to upper 60s. It's a little bit milder than the last couple of days, very seasonable for this time of the year. A light southeast wind. Clouds will be on the increase across southern New England, but they'll be high thin clouds, so cirrus clouds filtering the sunshine just a bit. A dry Saturday, which means a gorgeous Topsfield Fair. Temperatures in the upper 60s, a light south-southwest breeze. Even on Sunday, we're dry in the morning, we're dry through the midday. Clouds will thicken up, and then, yes, it will be a windswept rain, but it should generally be light. The wind going to be a little bit gusty, particularly Sunday night and into Monday across the board. And we'll talk more about the wind in a second. Get your tickets to the Topsfield Fair right on our app. Hourly, 14-day, send to us tab. You'll see the Topsfield banner. You can click right on it. Takes you to the ticket page. Our app is free. Just search One Degree Outside Weather in the App Store and Google Play. Now, we could use some rain. The drought monitor update yesterday, moderate drought has been expanding now down a little farther south across central Massachusetts. It has expanded across northern Maine. And more, most significantly, the extreme drought areas in red have expanded even more across much of northern New England. We still have also severe drought on the outer Cape and islands as well. Going to pick up some beneficial rainfall there. So as our northeast, nor'easter ramps up, Matt talked about this yesterday. We talked about it earlier this week, too. Two different pieces of energy that we're watching. One down across the southeastern United States, kind of tropically infused with moisture, and then another pretty energetic disturbance coming out of central Canada. We'll dive into the Great Lakes today, and both of these will interact. Pieces of energy lifting northward across New England, and then eventually it consolidates to one storm center that will pass south of New England. But it's that pressure gradient, that tightening between the high pressure that's going to be building in and that coastal storm. We squeeze that wind out of the east-northeast. So let's start with rain first. Again, clouds thickening up by Saturday evening and night Sunday. Notice in the morning, it's dry, heaviest rain, localized flash flooding down through the south, the Carolinas, the mid-Atlantic, with that area of rain also extending with a little trough up into central New York and Pennsylvania. For us, we may get an isolated shower out ahead of the main bands, which I do still think a lot of the heaviest action will stay to our south. But steadier areas of rain will lift along the south coast by Sunday, late day and evening. And notice it's really the southern half of New England that's into some of it. Heavy downpours for the Cape and Islands. Sunday night into Monday, it's a windswept rain for most of central southern New England. The farther north you go, you're more removed from the storm. And then the storm will still be to our south, you notice, by Tuesday, but some lingering moisture, so some pockets of rain, especially in eastern New England on Tuesday. Of course, many details on that to be ironed out in the days to come. But rainfall totals will be much lower the farther north you go. In fact, it's little, if anything, a few hundreds across the far north country, northern Maine, little, if anything, either. And then for most of central and interior southern New England, it's about a quarter to a half an inch of rain. But there are some signs we get the heaviest totals focused over southeastern Massachusetts to the Cape. Don't focus on the exact number, but a one to two inch rainfall scenario for most of the south coast, stretching back up to the Worcester to Boston stretch with some higher totals that may exceed two or even three inches in some localized areas for the south shore and then back to Cape Cod. So the heaviest rain looks to fall Sunday night and into the day on Monday. Let's talk wind. Saturday, it's not much. Again, a really pleasant day. The wind out of the southeast, but then it starts to shift out of the east and then northeast. So that by that time we get to Sunday night, 
It's gusting over 40 miles per hour for the South Shore and to Cape Cod, particularly Nantucket. The strongest wind, I think, comes in by the time we get to Sunday night and early Monday. So numerous gusts in southern New England go 40 to 45 miles per hour. You notice, including the city of Boston, the yellow shading here. We may gust briefly to 40 for places like Worcester and the Merrimack Valley. The strongest wind with 45 to 55 mile per hour gusts hugging the coastline Cape Cod again Sunday night into probably Monday morning and midday. So be prepped for some pockets of outages to result and some damage. Even during the day on Tuesday, the wind is going to start to shift out of the north and may still be gusting 30 to 40 miles per hour. So essentially a nor'easter on our hands here. Be in the mindset for outages, particularly at the coast, back down to Cape Cod. Extra fenders for the boat, obviously getting to that time of the year when you normally pull it out to. Saturday, a good day to do it. Tough travel kind of across the board with the rain coming in with slippery leaves. This time of the year with that windswept rain kind of knocking many of the leaves out. Just keep that in mind. The roads will be extra slick because of that. I'm also envisioning like Halloween and holiday decor flying all over the place. So make sure to secure your outdoor decorations with that wind anticipated to ramp up. The waves are going to build as well. During the day on Sunday, they ramp up pretty quickly particularly along the south coast and the outer coastal waters. Look at that, the Great South Channel, 12 footers by the time we get to Sunday afternoon. So this is a significant and dangerous storm for our marine community. Look at this, 15 to 20 foot seas during the day on Monday. Even at the coast, we're going to have about 10 foot wave action, that wind piling up the water at the coastline. So beach erosion, the exposed east, northeast beaches, especially even through Tuesday, we still have about 10 12 foot seas offshore, the wave action will slowly subside through the middle part of the week. So beach erosion, yes, a concern, breaking waves dangerous, and also minor coastal flooding. We're coming off of the king tide. So the high tide cycle Sunday night and into the day on Monday will feature some pockets of um, minor coastal flooding. High a low temperature Saturday night. So tonight, not as chilly, though. One spot will dip below freezing. Far northern Maine are right at that 32 degree mark. Most of us 40s to lower 50s. Low 60s during the day on Sunday. Um, mid 60s may be possible along the south coast. And then that windswept rain either side of 60. We'll put it at about 55 to 60. But definitely a chilly, raw feel. We'll, of course, keep you posted on it all. Our website, the number one degree outside.com, social media, and always at one degree outside.live. Our 24 7 and only continuous weather network across New England. Smart TV, you just open up your YouTube app and search One Degree Outside Network.